Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover multiples versus factors, so the difference between multiples and factors. And we have two examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. So let's jump right into number one here, where we have eight. And we'll start with multiples. So we need to list some multiples of eight. Now multiples are the result of multiplying the given number by integers, so no fractions or decimals. And we can think of this as skip counting. Let's make sense of that by writing out some examples here. So the multiples of eight, we can start with eight. Eight times one equals eight. So we multiplied eight by the integer of one. Now we can multiply by the integer of two. So eight times two is 16. Then three, eight times three is 24. And you can see how this is turning into just counting by eights or skip counting. Eight times four is 32, eight times five is 40, and so on and so forth. So those multiples will continue on forever. So it's all the numbers that eight will hit if we count up by eight. Or think of it as we multiplied eight by integers, starting with one, and then going two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and again, it goes on forever. Now multiples can be positive and go up in value, or multiples can decrease in value. There are negative multiples, but we are only going to be working with positives in this video. So let's move on to factors, and factors are all of the numbers that the given number can be divided by evenly, so no remainders. Or you can think of factors as the numbers that can be multiplied in order to get that given number. Factors are numbers that are multiplied to get a product. I like to think of factors as all the numbers that can go into a given number. That's not the most mathematical or technical way of thinking about it, but it can help with determining the difference between multiples and factors. So let's find all the factors of 8. And when we find factors, I like to start with two numbers for um, two factors for every number. And those factors are one and then the number itself. So one and eight. I can do eight divided by one and get a, um, that will divide evenly. I will not get a remainder. And I can do eight divided by eight. Or you can think of it as one times eight equals eight. So all the math facts all the multiplication facts, that will equal eight. And we can think of this as a factor pair here. So we'll start with one and eight, and for some numbers, those are the only factors. One and the number itself. Those numbers are called prime numbers. But eight is composite, so it has other factors involved here. So what other numbers can go into eight, you can think of it as, or a multiplication fact to equal that given number of eight? Well, I could do eight, divided by two, right? Two can go into eight, so that's my next factor. And I know two's partner is four because eight divided by two equals four. Or I could do eight divided by four equals two. Or think of it as two times four equals eight. So different ways of thinking about factors, but it's all the numbers that can divide evenly, AKA no remainders, um, as far as eight goes. Now, when I wrote my factors list, I put one and eight, and then I put a big gap in the middle there. That way I could fit any other factors that would be between one and eight, and they would all go in order. You'll get better with spacing the more you do of those. Let's go to number two and write out the multiples of 15. So we'll start with 15 times one, or just start with 15 and skip count, however you like to think about this. 15 times two, 30. 3 is 45, 4 is 60, 5 is 75. And again, those do continue on forever, but we'll cut it off right there. As far as factors, remember we start with 1 and the number itself, because 1 can go into 15, and then 15 can go into 15. I like to leave a little gap there, that way if there are any other factors, I can list them in between 1 and 15, and they're all in order. So think about 15. What other numbers go into 15 or can multiply to get 15? Well, I know 15 divided by three, and three's partner is five, right? Because 
let me start with this. One and 15 are partners, and then three and five are factor pairs or partners. And those are all the factors of 15. So there you have it. There's the difference between multiples and factors. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.